Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Got an email from one of my subbies. Shout out to you, Miss Magenta Nevea. There have been some questions that a lot of y'all have had about working in a call center, wanting to get a job in a call center, what to expect. Been dreading this video for a while, but <laughs> but don't let this scare none of y'all off. The strong do survive. I will say it now. Call center work is not for everybody. I repeat, call center work is not for everybody. Okay? Some people genuinely cannot do that job. Because A, <clears throat> their ability to be mind fucked is horrible. Some of them are already getting mind fucked at the house. They don't need no additional help. Some people really cannot handle the mental restraint that it takes to get cussed out, to get called every name in the book, even though these people don't know you. But to get called every name in the book, to get basically ran through or talked to like you're somebody's child other than your parents, and sit there and deal and then take another call immediately after. Some people do not have that mental capacity. I've seen it. I've experienced it because there's some call centers I know I can't do sales. I'm the type of person, if you tell me no once, I'm done. That's it. So, you know, hey, you want to buy this? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, well, I do thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. No, these companies want you to push, push, put. That's not me because I know when I tell somebody I don't want to buy something, the second time you ask me, I'm not responsible for my motherfucking answer because I told you no one time. And that should have been it. So... That is exactly why I don't do the the sales. Not me. I can do customer service. I can do technical support. And it has taken some time because at first technical support I could not do. I had to develop almost like I had a child type patience. If you do not have patience, technical support is not for you. A, because... Goddamn, air. Air loud. A, because... You basically have to deal with onesie, twosie customers. Okay, so what do you see on the screen? Press back. Uh, does it say press enter or cancel? Well, if you cancel, we can't go any further. So go ahead and press content. You really have to talk to people like that. So I'm going to get into this email that she wrote me. Let me get y'all a little bit closer. Hold on. Okay. Cause I just can't, I feel like y'all can't hear me, but I'm going to get into this email that she sent me. Now I'm looking at the email somewhere else. So that's why you'll see me look away occasionally, but the email reads um, that she's from Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Um, first, I'd like to thank you for taking time to reply to me. The videos are funny. Thank you. Real. I'm going to skip down. Um, so I'm working in a call center and this is my first one. So I'm just in training and nesting. So, uh, sorta. Today I got cussed out and my check was short. Two bad combos. Bitch. Uh, first question. Are the call centers rigged so that your hours are tied to to the out and my check? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get up in there. Okay. I'm going to try that again. Are the call centers rigged so that your hours are tied to the system that runs your interaction screen? So we're going to put it in layman's terms. I know what she mean, but some people may not. <clears throat> Basically, if I'm late logging in and I don't get paid, if the dot goes from ready to wrap up or not ready, I'm logged out and I don't get paid. Is this normal? Yes, this is. There is a loophole for every fucking thing, though. Any and every time you are late, if you are using a Avea phone, I believe it's A-V-A-L-Y or Y-A. If you are using that phone, you do have the ability to log in on that phone. Most call centers that I've worked at, technical support, technical, is number eight. Log into that bitch and push technical. Seven is callback pending. Log into that bitch and push callback pending. Whatever you have to do to show that you were on that phone, even if it may fuck up your adherence, because it will. It will fuck up your adherence logging into the phone and, you know, except for technical support, because you can call and get a ticket. 
if there's some computer issues, always log into that phone. Even if you don't get to log into Kronos. If you don't get to clock in, because what's going to happen is you're going to ask for a time card correction. Your supervisor is the person that approves that. So stop letting these supervisors tell you, oh, I can't do it. Yes, the fuck you can. Because you saw me. You know I was here. And don't be afraid to raise hell on these people. Worst case scenario, they'll fire your motherfucking ass and you'll get unemployment. How in the hell can you fire me because I got questions? You're going to either fix my pay or I'm going to get up out of here anyway. One or the other. What I would do, and I, I don't necessarily suggest it, I would let my boss know, well, hell, since I lost that time, I'm going to take a shorter lunch. That's totally on you. But I would take the shorter lunch to make up for the time that I'm missing until I was educated about logging into that phone. Logging directly into your phone will save your life. If it's a technical issue, log into that bitch push technical. And then go into, hey, I need help, I need help. And then when they tell you, oh, call the help desk, cool. You got a start time, you have an end time now. I hope that was helpful. Then she goes on to say... I'm physically there 80 hours. I'm physically there 80 hours and for two weeks. And I get paid for 79 hours and 42 minutes. It's crazy. I talked to my team lead and she says she will look into it. Stay on her motherfucking ass. That's what you do with that. <clears throat> I just think that the way, it's way too much. I just think it's a way not to pay us. If the computer creates issues and refreshes all the time that one thing there led me to this the house always wins it's a casino term here in Las Vegas the house always wins the call center is the house so just like they look for every loophole you need to do the same we're looking for every loophole there there's no room for error so I've been doing this for a couple of years so I've seen the ins and outs and how to get around that bullshit. If you keep driving it, they get tired and eventually they fold just like t-shirts. All right. So then she says, also, she had a question about gaining confidence. Now, in her situation, her manager told her to start taking more control of the call. She didn't got cussed out for it. I won't get into you know the details but of course the lady calls in because her power is out and she gets to going in about how she has children she has to feed this that and the other she doesn't want her food to spoil although people know if you don't pay your fucking bill what happens the shit gets turned off it's it's not chinese arithmetic it's been happening for years we understand we got kids, but at the end of the day, this is still a business. It's not personal. The motherfucker who disconnected your power, they don't know what the fuck you got in your house. They don't even know if you're in your house. So you telling me that you have kids, I'm only the person behind the computer. So I let them vent. Let them vent. Let them, don't interrupt them. Let them say everything until I'm so quiet to the point to where when they get done talking, literally, we sit there for about 30 seconds and they say, hello, are you there? Oh yeah, I'm here. I just wanted to make sure you were able to get everything out because I can tell that this is a frustrating situation and I absolutely apologize for the way you feel about what's going on. I mean, I too, I ain't got no goddamn kids, but... I, too, have children, and I can definitely understand, you know, being a mother and one, you know, to have some sort of power for them. And, you know, kids don't know how to function without power, so I definitely apologize about that. Now, what we can do is we can look into getting you on a payment plan. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to turn this power back the fuck on. I'm going to tell you that's what I can do. None of that consists of me saying, oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and only give you an extent. No, that's the job for the supervisors. That's not your fucking job. Take control. If you believe, they believe. I have never owned an iPhone in my life. But if I get a call right now, if I say, okay, so I want you to go ahead on and go to your settings, go down to general, hit reset, go to factory data reset, that's actually going to say... I don't own an iPhone at all. Never have. But if I tell you an iPhone user, and you don't necessarily know your phone either as much as you know that I do because when these people call you, you are basically the end-all be-all on the phone. That's it. So if you know your job to the T, such as, you know, the same thing, 
with Miss Nevea. This is something that you're new at. It's hard to gain confidence and people in call centers will not give you confidence. They'll tell you, oh, well, this works for me. Everything does not work for every fucking body. You have to find out what works for you. Me personally, oh, this motherfucker going to close my email. Me personally, what works for me is I exude confidence. Whatever I say is what it is. And plenty of times I've been saying the wrong shit. They don't know because as I'm doing it, I'm looking up my shit. But if you believe, they believe. So if on that, that iPhone right now, if I was to tell you, go to settings, go to general, go down to reset inside of general. From there, I want you to tap on erase all content and settings. Now, this is going to erase everything out of your phone, but I assure you that we'll be able to go ahead and get that information and content back. Let me know when you press that button. And I wait. I don't get, well, that's going to take all my stuff. I don't want to delete because I've already told you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to fix it, and how I'm going to get your shit back to where the way it is. So I've answered each and every question that you have before you had. Now, you got some people, well, what about this? What about that? Well, have you done a backup on the device? Well, I can't because I have no storage. Boom, there goes your problem. Nine times out of ten, people will not tell you their actual problem. They'll tell you what issue they have with the problem. Oh, well, this is broken and I expect it to work properly and I want it to work right and I paid this much money. Okay, well, you paid this much money. Tell me what exactly happened. Well, I um I had it in my hand and then somehow it ended up on the floor. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead on and get you a claim done because now you finna have to spend some fucking money. You have to learn how to talk around these people. Let them vent. Whenever somebody is hollering, cussing, fussing, whatever, I say nothing. Now, one thing I do want to stress, and I got a list here for the new people and people that, that are having issues with gaining confidence. You do not, I repeat, you do not have to take verbal abuse from anybody. You give them the three warnings. The first one. I would appreciate it if you refrain from using language like that. We're both adults on the phone and the only thing I'm attempting to do is help you. If that language does continue, I'll be forced to end the call. And then you can go ahead and call back and get a representative that can better assist you that you may, you know, you may approve of. That's the first and second warning for me. If my warning has to be longer than a 10 second increment of me speaking time is money, you're going to pay me to hear my voice. That's my first and second warning. That third one, all right, well, you were asked to go ahead and refrain from using that type of language. And I do apologize that we can't go any further because this conversation has. So my third and final warning after my first one, because my first one is my second one. I truly want to apologize. I'm going to go ahead and end this call because it has lost its level of professionalism. So you can politely go ahead and hang up. Or I can go ahead and hang up. You can give us a call back at 1-800-blah-blah-blah-blah-blah. And I thank you so much for calling. You have yourself a wonderful day. And I hang up. And then what I do is I immediately write my supervisor afterwards. And I say, hey, disconnected a call due to verbal abuse. That's it. The only thing that they can do is get on the phone, call that customer back, and ask what happened. But at this point, I've, I've given up ownership on it. It's not my problem. You take control of that call, and when they get to cussing, that's taking control of the call. Whether they want to admit to, oh, well, we don't do our customer, that's fine. Certain places are not for me because every call center that I've worked at has told me you don't have to take verbal abuse. If you got a KC article, if you have um, whatever your, your um, intranet is that you guys use, Check that because they have some on there. Every call center is supposed to. And if they don't, your motherfucking call center probably don't have no EIN number. But every fucking call center has a script for that. Everyone. You do not take verbal abuse. So when the lady cussing at you, Miss Nevea, I'd have nipped that in the bud right there. You don't cuss at me because you need my help at the end of the day. Just like nobody's going to call down to any other guy the dmv especially you got some people that may be a little rude with them people but when you realize the information that they have they chill the fuck out because i've had one get one person got bucked with me at the goddamn bank before i used to work at uh at a bank she who shall remain nameless 
But I had a guy that called in, and he was talking reckless. I said, sir, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this call because it has, you know, lost its level of uh, professionalism. And I don't think you and I are going to get anywhere further with this call. So as I got ready to hang up, he said, now I can tell you're black, you nigger bitch. So I still hung up, but I called him back. A, because they don't believe that people in call centers can call back. They they don't believe some call centers we can, some we can't. Mine, for instance, we could. So I politely called him back. I said, hello. I almost said that man's whole name. Mr. Joyner. I, I called his first, middle, and last name because I wanted him to know. Yeah, I got your number. So I called him, and when I called, he said, hello. How you doing, Mr. Joyner? It seems like you and I were disconnected, but before, you had something that you wanted to say to me. So what I can definitely do is go ahead and send you out a letter. I read his whole entire address to him. I said, oh, that's nice. That's that's actually local. But I'm going to go ahead and send out a letter so you can go ahead and give us your feedback. And then that way we can go ahead and respond back to you right away. So now you know I have your address. Now you believe that I'm actually local. Look, ma'am, you know, I'm just frustrated at the situation. Oh, no, sir, there's no th there's nothing that we need to know. Lo we, we no longer need to discuss this. But just know you'll be getting that letter soon since you're local. And I hung the fuck up. I checked his account all day. That man called back 27 times and apologized to me. Could you please tell the previous rep, I'm sorry, could you please? You let these motherfuckers know what you got. I have all of your information. Fuck with it if you want to. That's exactly why people get so mad. Oh, wait, the motherfucking people in India, blah, blah, blah. Y'all need to quit fucking with them people. There's absolutely nothing that you can do to them people. Nothing. You don't know who the fuck you're talking to. You don't know who has your information. But the fact that I have it should terrify you. I have all of your shit. I have your birth certificate. I have your, not birth certificate, excuse me. I have your birthday. I got your social security number. I got your phone number. I got a motherfucking reference information. Don't do that. Once you let them people know that, they back the fuck off. That man called back 27 times to apologize. For what? You was nuts to the flow 30 minutes ago. But now that I done read your whole motherfucking address on this phone, you decided to buck up, Bart. Oh, okay. So, keep confidence if you believe they believe. You, you got a lot of tools. Use them all. But verbal abuse, you don't have to take. And if that job expects you to take verbal abuse after slavery has been over for years now, that's not the job for you. I would I don't recommend now. I understand we all have to feed our families. We have to do this, that, and the third. Stomach it as long as you can. Me personally, no. Mm -mm. I don't even put up with it from the man that I live with. Me and him, if we can't go back and forth and do it, it's not gonna get done. So, no. Mm -mm. Next, about you logging in late to the computer. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. They have a five minute rule everywhere everywhere i don't give a damn what they tell you everywhere there's a five minute rule until technology stops being technology there will be a five minute rule a because sometimes you can be there 10 minutes early but because you can't excuse me y'all i'm gonna log into this computer so i can see this damn email but you sometimes that computer don't start up so you can't log in right away that's not your fault Nothing you can do about that. So after that five minutes, that's when I go into technical. Because obviously my issue cannot be resolved within these next few minutes. So I'm going to be considered late. So that five minute rule, use it. Then what you will feel at some point, all y'all, is that you never do anything right. If you got perfect surveys, your CRT is too high. If you got per perfect surveys, your CRT is high, your adherence is fucked up. If you got perfect adherence and your CRT, your surveys suck. You get detractors all the time. If everything else is cool, your attendance is horrible. It's always going to be something, A, because call centers are relaxed jobs. They too laxed. You get VTO, you get PTO. You get early outs, all of that shit. And I can do that from the computer. I don't even have to talk to nobody. Yeah. 
it's it's very easy to get too relaxed and that's what I have been guilty of majority of us are guilty of people get comfortable with doing certain things like y'all just heard me let you know that you not you don't have to take verbal abuse some people take that as oh I don't like how you said hello disconnect no 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 that's not what the fuck you do let's let's be mindful about it but you will always get a feeling from somebody that you're not doing anything right. Let me tell you this. Call centers get paid from the asses and seats. They tell you what you're not doing right to push you to do better, of course. I let that shit go through one ear and out the other. The only thing I decipher from what you're telling me that I'm not doing right is how I can get better. And don't be afraid to tell these managers, look, I appreciate your feedback, but you're not going to tell me everything of what I'm doing wrong and nothing of what I'm doing right. Tell me how I can get better. Don't just, I don't need you poking the knife. I get ridiculed, talk bad to all goddamn day. I don't need you being the straw that broke the camel's back. Tell me how I can get better. If you're not, that that is the coach's job, coaching and development. The key, It's called a CAD, coach and development. They are coaching you on what you're doing wrong, but they develop. Some people are there to just tell you all of what you're doing wrong. Coaching me is telling me how I can fix what I'm doing wrong. Not just, oh, you're doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. That should never be the session that you and your coach have. A, because a lot of times that there are any kind of absenteeism issues, attendance issues, are A, because either the calls or management. That's it. Or, of course, life get in the way and you really can't fucking make it to work and you just need to quit probably. But other than that, those are the two things. Management and them calls. So if you on the phone and you're willing to take calls but you still have horrible attendance, off the rip, we know that that's management. Don't be afraid to tell these managers how you feel because at the end of the day when they clock out, they are people the fuck too. And if they don't like what you're saying, you can always go to another team. You don't necessarily have to stick with that manager because everybody doesn't mesh well. It's a lot of people that are managers that couldn't sit with me at McDonald's and I don't even fucking eat there. So, lastly, this was a question I actually got on Facebook about people. A young lady was telling me that, you know, she's a people person and... She always, you know, seems to make friends at jobs, but as soon as she has a friend, she has six different enemies. Call center people are like that. A, because you're like a family. You spend majority of your time at that call center around these people. Y'all are like family. But when entitlement comes into place, and a lot of times y'all know us, we don't know how to act everywhere. So when that comes into place, then you have the, the powder bougies that think everybody talking about them that comes into place. It's so many personalities cluster fucked into this one building. It's just like being on a fucking freeway, except you're in captivity. Somebody's bound to get ran the fuck over. You have people that have stronger personality than other people. And you even have work bullies. Me, I said, you got work husbands, work wives. So that causes work drama, work issues, work conflict. My personal opinion is to stay away from the relationships. You will gain friendships, true enough. You will. You will gain friendships. I would suggest staying away from the relationships, A, because... The same relationship that you are in with that person. I'm sorry, I got a bump on my nose and it hurt. Nine times out of ten, that person is in another relationship with another motherfucker. Be careful. Whole nother video. But, don't let that get in the way of what you are there for. Trying to be buddy-buddy with bitches because nine times out of ten, the same bitch you were cool with in orientation won't even know your fucking name by the time you're in nesting. And you and that bitch will be slashing each other's tires and scratching up each other's cars by the time y'all get out of OJT. It's just that simple. I'm pretty neutral with everybody at my job. I just got a lovable fucking spirit. So, I don't really have that issue. I just... 
every I don't never really have no problem. But whenever I see somebody that I know I don't mesh with, you're not really my steez. I, I cut off to the point where, hey girl, hey, and then I keep it moving. No need to sit up and hold conversation. We're not doing none of that. So, and I'm pretty blunt with it. Like, you know, oh, Natalie, it seems like you don't like me. I mean, I don't really care for you that much, but you cool. You all right. You know, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't fuck with you outside of here. Straight face. Because that's how you have to be. You know, you it's almost like working at a goddamn strip club. You just keep your clothes on. But, <laughs> but yeah, that that's just it, you know. Hey, how you doing? You have a good, hopefully, hope, hopefully you have a good shift. And going on about your business. We have nothing further to discuss past that. Nothing. Bitches get too friendly. Mm -mm. I had my house broke into before. I don't trust people. So, <laughs> thank God for deliverance. So that's just my take on some of the stuff in the call center, the gaining confidence, you know, just own it. If you don't know what you're talking about, then people are calling you for your help. So whatever the fuck you tell them, that's law. And even if you're wrong, if you're wrong, you go around that shit. You never, never admit it on that phone. I don't never admit that I'm wrong. Okay, well, they must have went ahead and changed it. There was an update that happened. Let's go ahead and try this. And then I lead them to what the fuck I needed to lead them to. Ummers. You never, um, mm, oh, um, 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 um. That's basically telling me you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If you believe, they believe. So, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you get something from it. Miss Nevaeh. She had a longer name, but she'll probably comment below here. It ain't none of y'all fucking business what her whole name is. I don't know if she wants y'all to know that. But I thank you so much for emailing me. I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to make this video for you. Um, y'all gonna see this shirt again because I'm about to do another one. But it'll be posted later. So don't talk about me. Fuck y'all. I'm just kidding. I love y'all to death. But yeah, if y'all have any other questions about call centers, weight loss, the hair shit, any recipes y'all want to see, anything on here, let me know. Because I don't want to just limit the show to the call center chronicle rants, the show, the uh, channel. Only because I don't always have shit to rant about. It ain't always that goddamn bad. I don't always have every day. Literally, that me ranting is my therapy. That it literally, that is the only reason I get up and I go to work the next day. So some days, and sometimes I hold it in. You'll see I won't do a video for about a week or three. That's because I really am just going through life. I'm doing what I'm doing. So I don't really have nothing to rant about right away. But once I do get something to rant about, a million and one things come to mind and I just have to blow. So that's what you see. But anyway, I love y'all again. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure y'all like, rate, subscribe, turn on your notifications, send me emails. That email will be floating around here somewhere the whole video. I'll make sure. But y'all just keep in touch with me. Until next time. Deuces.